Hello everyone, welcome back to Music Theory for Beginners. My name is William and today we will be learning about something super cool, C clefs. In our latest video, we cover some of the more commonly used clefs, such as treble and bass clef. However, what if I told you that there are more? In fact, there are 5 more clefs. Today, we will be covering something called the C clef, which looks something like this. So the C clef is a special clef. It is called the C clef because the middle of the clef is always C. So in this case, the middle of the clef is right here. Therefore, this entire line is C. So with that, you can determine all the other notes. You just count up notes and you count down notes. So what makes this clef super special is that you can move it throughout the staff. However, you can't move it anywhere though. The middle of the C clef must be on a line in the staff, as you see in these clefs. So with all of these different clefs, each clef has its middle in the staff line. This clef has a middle and 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 staff line. And this one's in the middle too. So since there are five different staff lines, there are five different clefs. They are soprano clef, mezzo soprano clef, alto clef, tenor clef, and baritone clef. Most likely you won't see soprano clef, mezzo soprano clef, or baritone clef if you play an instrument. If you are a singer, you might see them. If you're an instrument player, you are more likely to see alto clef or tenor clef. So you might ask, why learn a new whole entire new clef when we could just use treble and bass clef? So if you just stick to treble and bass clef, you sometimes will find yourself looking at these notes. They're just so hard to read. So therefore, with the power of C clefs, we can get rid of some of these ledger lines, making it much easier to read. So as I mentioned earlier before, the C clefs are mostly used with vocal music, but with instruments, the alto and tenor clef are mostly used. For the alto clef, middle range instruments use it, such as the viola. For tenor clef, lower range instruments use it, such as the cello, the bassoon, and the trombone. If you don't play any of these instruments, you are not likely to run into the C clef. However, it is good to know these clefs because when you look through orchestral scores or look through other instruments' music, it can help you understand it better. So let's try reading a C clef together. If you recall, this is an alto clef. You don't have to memorize the names of these clefs in order to read them though. All you have to memorize is that the middle of the C clef signifies C. So the middle of this alto clef is right here, meaning that this entire line is C. Then you can just count up the spaces till you get to this note. This empty space will be D, and this space will be E. You can do this with all the other spaces too. You can count up to F, G, or you can go back down to B, A, G, and then F. It's pretty simple. So that will be it for today with C Club. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to watch more videos, we will be posting new music theory videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos. Feel free to also subscribe to our channel and also share our videos so that your friends may also learn the fascinating parts of music theory. If you want us to cover a topic that we haven't covered before, make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, if you would like more clarification for topics, feel free to leave a comment too. This has been William and I will see you next time on Music Theory for Beginners.